Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, Extended Timeline, where we've just been fighting rebels in India because India is falling apart. Uh, whatever will we do with them? So, we have a problem now. We are now personal union of Lithuania. That's not really a problem, so much as the resulting war that has occurred. It's a succession war. Yeah, a bit of a problem. Just a bit. Dacia is extremely vulnerable right now. Yeah, a bit of a problem, isn't it? Well, the bad news is, we have no way through. And we haven't discovered our way around the Cape of Good Hope yet, so... That's not going to help us. I just basically have to look at Europe and say, well, whatever happens, happens. And now they have the Herman Dooley. Which isn't good, needless to say. I might just, uh, hmm. I suppose an option would be to, uh,. So just the offer. Cancel Dossi as a vassal and 129 gold. I don't know. Can I just pay you to go away? No, apparently I can't. Okay. Figured I'd ask. Don't be willing to pay to make you go away, buddy. We seem to have managed to get India back under control again, for the most part. Protect against Italy, really? All right, well, how many troops do we have? 55? Sure. Oh, not enough manpower, fuck. Fine. Yeah, not great, huh? Yeah, you want money? I uh, give you money. Will not betray their ally for gold? I guess they added in that modifier just to piss me off, huh? So, holy hell, Gallia actually managed to get over here. That's a lot of military axes when you think about it. That's Francia. And the Goths. I don't know, it's only two, because Herman Dury. Dury. Eh. I said it is whatever. You want the union with Lithuania? I give you the union with Lithuania. Little friend of the king of both nations. Nah. Not happening. I offer you vast sum of money. That is all. I mean, I have no interest in Lithuania, but there's not much I can do about that. Also, we're still kind of waiting for Catholicism to form. But yeah, there's no salvaging. Eh, what the fuck. I guess you can have Lithuania. There you go. You can have Lithuania. How about it? There's no real reason to fight for Lithuania. It's not worth it. That shit ain't even close to worth it. We have better things to do. Really? Alright, so that's a fucking bit of a problem now, ain't it? You know what I really miss 
from what's its face thingy. Yeah, they don't piece out for cash anymore. It's fucking annoying. Alright, ram him. India has it. They're just rebels. Alright, normally a war will form here, but because of how things work, you can't do anything. They're allied with Zhao, really. How did you get an alliance with Zhao? India. It's personal union with Frankie. Hmm. I can't wait to see the result of this. I... I'm okay with this. Like, okay. Huh. Huh. I'm not even certain what to say about that. That's... That's alright. Fine by me. Alright, cool. Leads personally in his Paiyu. Where the fuck are they? There, there. What the fuck is with the personal unions lately? I mean, really. It's getting kind of out of hand, don't you think? Really, it is getting out of hand. Completely. Something needs to be done about it. Let's uh, start fabricating a claim on Kushan. It's about time. Sure, we'll go with Marwar. Alright. And... Since we're, you know, having one of those recruitment crises, we'll just go with the uh, throw money at it effect. Works out pretty well. So, eight and four. Eight and six. We just need two more cavalry. Okay. Just gotta wait for some more mercs. That's fine. Yes. Alright, well, that's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, Italy now has Union over Lithuania, which is weird. But, whatever. Like I said, it's none of my real concern. It's very strange that I'm forced into a civil war like that. Kushan tells us of Presence War. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? They want to keep? Sure, they can keep. Alright. So, we're going to want you there. You there. Eh. Georgia Gasson is in Han. Not a problem. How's the North doing? I don't know. Let's go have a look at them. Do, do. Eh, the North seem fine. However, it appears that uh, Orthodox has managed to spread its way up a little bit into Denmark. They are doing their best to hold their ground, though, and I respect that. Done. Alright. Allied with the Zhao. Like. Oh, okay. Ah, I don't know. That's more than I was originally anticipating. That's, that's a hell of a war to deal with. Alright, so. We pretty much don't have to worry about anyone except the Gassinids. And again, whatever about them. They, they don't really matter. Algiers has actually been slowly consuming them, so bad a lot of good that doesn't. Alright, go. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, 
Let's make sure we win that. I don't know. Yeah, we're fine. Like I said, oof. That cost me many people. Not too pleased about that, but that happens, I guess. And suddenly, out of nowhere. They were ready for me. Which is strange, since they just friggin' went into a peasant's war. Or was that the end of the peasant's war? I don't know. Something about a peasant's war, I read. Either way. We're going to need a hell of a lot more mercs. I have a feeling that we're going to be fighting a lot of mercs. Or with a lot of mercs, I should say. Considering our manpower count is pretty much zero. La 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 la. I'm sure they'll get their shit together soon. Strangely enough, now they're going elsewhere. So what are we even after here? Upper Sin, Molten, this area. Okay. Some nice new shiny land for our vassal. Alright. They're coming around again. Prep. Prophets in Mecca. Game 5 Mercantilism. And India's got the backup. Very good. Yeah, we don't have much manpower left. Like, I'm actually going to chuck out that, because that just wasn't worth it. Alright. 42%. Can we get there in time? Yes, we can. Good. Better leave it be. I mean, really. Come on here. Get out of here. <sighs> Insistent little bastards they are. But yeah, we're pretty much phasing out non-mercenary troops at this point. There's no point. In overseas provinces. Bullshit. <laughs> so them being there makes everything count as overseas. Great, 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 great. Thanks. Thanks, game. That's a bit silly, come on. You see, what I really need is a land link through here, and then my other vassals can all pour from over here and help out as well. Alright, well, at least we have the war goal going for us, so there's that. We're taking as much of the Indian region here as possible to give to India directly. Who is continuing to collapse? <sighs> of course. No marks. Okay. Hey, if we can hire him, let's hire him. I ain't com gonna complain. Well, we're getting attacked. Should probably send troops over to reinforce and all that. And we can send boats full of soldiers over. Italy tells us of a peasant's war. Uh, 
Aha. Uh -huh. Hold the line. There. The line has been held. And more serious now, what are we looking at for costs here? We can probably take a good chunk of the Indian region. I like it. Zhao invade India, maybe. I don't know. Like, you want out of this shit, Zhao? I, uh, give you money? Uh, they want concessions other than gold, apparently. Good to know. Which seems kind of weird. Yeah, we have these guys here. There are, you know, actual soldiers. There we go. Oop, noble soldiers. Huzzah. Bit more infantry shock. Doesn't hurt. Alright, let's just keep punching our way along here. Wow, they have good fucking leaders. Like, just wow, do they have good leaders. Alright. Well, one, I shouldn't have done that. There you go. Get back to protecting trade in the Gulf, babe. Go. Or wherever the hell you were doing it. Do I, why would I protect trade in the Gulf of Aden? That's just silly. Doesn't matter, though. Let's get them in there. I'm pretty much hiring mercs as fast as I physically can, so... Look at that. <laughs> I'm kind of getting worried, though. Mercenary supplies have this annoying tendency to not be infinite, so... Yeah, we can't defeat that kind of army, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, they have 31,000 soldiers. Why the fuck do you retreat in two different directions? God damn it. Get on the boat. Bullshit. But yeah, there's no way I can beat that kind of army. Which is really silly. With uh, fucking leaders like that, not a chance. Ugh. India continues to have massive rebel problems because they, for whatever reason, think stability is silly and don't get any for themselves. I don't know why either. <laughs> They've been sitting in negative two stability for a long fucking time. And I couldn't tell you as to why. Couldn't even know. Yeah. Like really, I have no idea. <laughs> We need at least 10 more score to make demands. Well, we'll get 10 more score pretty soon. Even though it's 21 to 33, so we'll see. But yeah, they have a very good leader, I'm afraid. In general, 100 tradition. Hopefully you're good. Well, you're better than what we had, so I'll take you. And you have 5 maneuver, which is really nice. You can chase things down. So, we'll take it. They sent want replacements. Military candidate. Good. How did we lose 2% from winning that battle?
They just didn't take a single fucking casualty. You guys are watching that, right? What? 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 Okay, that time they took casualties. Better. It. Getting kind of pissed at that. Yeah, I'm not certain why our war score is jumping around so much when we aren't winning or losing battles or anything, really. Seems to like to jump around a lot. I don't know. Oh. Because apparently the Han have uh, been fucking with us over here while I wasn't looking. Nice to know. That's nice. I really wish I could do something about this, but no. Not a chance. However, my resources are infinite, so I can keep this up. What the fuck is this bullshit? 300 people repelling 20,000. Come on. I demand an ounce of respect for this shit. And just where do you think you're going? Power of Song Rain, BB. Europe's pretty much the same as it always is. You constantly ask that. It's like it it's not like it changes every five years, trust me. It's been the same for the last 200 years, and it's going to stay the same for another 200, probably. Well, not really. Eventually, Catholicism will form, and we'll have problems then, but, you know, we don't have to worry until Catholicism forms. But trust me when I say Europe is going to stay the same religiously for quite some time. Yes, get out of there. Mawar and... Yeah, you know what. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. It's two provinces off of them. It's for the better of things. Isn't everyone's resources infinite? Yes, I suppose everyone's resources are infinite. But the AI isn't particularly effective at using infinite resources is the problem. They have a certain capacity that they... India is overextended and does not accept Uzbek culture, I see. Well, we should probably go help India. Just a thought. Kushan entered into a coalition against us for two provinces? Are you fucking shitting me? On the plus side, it doesn't take long to make these anymore. We can just harsh treat that down. Really though, India? You have a problem now. Okay. 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 You still a negative two stability? What the fuck? What fuck? Ooh. Like how? Why? Huh? Okay, and apparently we're now fighting Kunidia and Lao and Zhao by proxy. Great. Well, that is gonna end swimmingly. What the shit? What the shit?
Great, and so that province is now bugged out and thinks it's under siege permanently. That's gonna make my life harder. God damn it. That means I that means everything over here to recruit is gonna be take a super long time and shit. Oh. Lovely. So now we have to fight the Chinese. Uh, that's a bigger problem. <laughs> Like, wow. On the bus side, we can probably... They're the war leader. How? I don't know. War, if they're the war leader, that means we occupy their four provinces. We annex them. We win. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's also not Catholic, for the record. Alright, so, that's going to do it for today, folks. So, thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.